Well, this is a brilliant interview to be doing on Panthers TV in association with Jeremiah's Chimney Systems. Because you're here, you're in the dressing room, you've got your shirt behind me, and what it means is you're back with the Nottingham Panthers. Otto, congratulations. What's made you want to come back for another year? Uh, thank you very much. There's probably too many reasons to go and hear about that. But a few ones like the fan base have been amazing. We have great facilities, and I just enjoyed my time here a lot. If I'm looking back, previous seasons, uh, after I uh, moved out uh, from Finland, so this one probably is gonna, uh, it's been like my happiest for sure. So that was really easy decision for me. You mentioned one thing the fans, we talk about the fans a lot in this year of all years, their support. Just the other night, the noise, the support in that final game. How crucial were they in your decision? Yeah, it was a huge, uh, like I've, I've met a lot of fans this season and they are always so friendly and uh, supportive. So. It's been uh, amazing to play in front of them and uh, also it's nice to see a lot of guys in the away games, so I appreciate it a lot. We talked, didn't we, when you arrived at how you'd played in this building before in the Champions Hockey League and you said it was special then. Did it live up to that expectation that you thought that it would be night in, night out? Uh, yeah, I think it went even further. Like uh, I, I knew the noise was loud, but but yeah, now when you were the home team, it was... Uh, very special every night and I just love the noise of this uh, arena. We, we don't know how many players will be back or anything like that at this stage in the season, but how much of that bond and that sort of togetherness that, that this Nottingham team and, and staff has formed, how much of that has played a key at somewhere that you'd want to be? Yeah, very much. Like, of course, we know what happened and that bond, it's, it's, it's been huge and uh, made a lot of new friends. So. So uh, hopefully see at least some of the guys next season. You were awarded at our awards night the, the goal of the season for that fantastic goal in Sheffield. Is that your highlight goal? You scored a lot, of course. Or can you pick another one out? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember all of them, so I, I don't know. But of course, that was nice to score there. And uh, yeah, it wasn't as nice as David Levin scored last season, but I truly appreciate it still to getting that award. Yeah, it wasn't far off though, but yeah. uh, um, looking as you go through the wall there, when you walk out the dressing room, there's trophies, isn't there? The, the pictures of all the, the, the famous trophies that the Panthers have won. How much does that kind of fire burn in you to, to bring those times back to the club? Yeah, it's motivating me a lot. I just want to bring my, my best and uh, my like all, all, all like the contribution to get the club to the trophies again. And uh, that, like, yeah, like I said, it motivates me a lot to work hard. And being settled as well, a hockey player, you know, you do find that you can move around. That's the nature of the sport. It, I feel it gets rarer and rarer, especially in the UK, for, for players to stay for a long length of time. How much as well is you and the family being settled? Uh, a lot, actually. Yeah, it's been now a few years without uh, coming back to the previous team. So it's also like so much easier for me. I know the rules and habits of the house. And so that's kind of, you get that peace and... Uh, it's so much easier. And what about the summer? What's you know, finally before we let you go? What, what, what's Otto Niemann's summer going to look like? Uh, I don't actually know. Probably it's rest and then the strain. Nothing special, but uh, but yeah, especially now after the season, they got a bit of breath in and then, then just move to the next season. No holiday yet planned then? or? Uh, not yet, maybe. Maybe there might be small small trip somewhere in Europe, but uh, we will see. Brilliant. Thanks for joining us and listen, it's great to have you back. Thank you very much, Chris.